again, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and build the base fixture plate. No time like the present to get started. Let's right click in space and choose in place part. Right off the bat, uh, I'm going to make this out of stainless steel just because I have a template that my material is defined as stainless, but you can obviously make it out of whatever material you need. And here I'm just going to call this base plate. Now I always take the time to name my parts as I'm creating them because I just think it's best practice. So to begin with, what I'm going to do is I want to offset a plane down from this level. Okay, And what I'm going to do is just right click right there and choose offset plane. And I'm going to flip this to go down the other way and I'm going to offset it down a sixteenth of an inch. Looks good. And I'm going to use that plane to start my sketch on. Now, when I create my sketch, I'm going to start by creating a simple rectangle. And I don't know if you remember this or not, but as you draw, top solid is going to add dimensions where it possibly can. But I want to dimension this a whole different way anyway. So instead of having to delete those dimensions, I'm just going to come up here and turn off automatic dimension. Perfect. And I'm going to go turn it back on now because likely I want to use it in the future. And now I'm going to start adding my dimensions. For example, I want to be one inch off that side there. I want to be an inch and a half off of that. And I want to be one inch off this side. And off this back side, I'm going to go with about three inches, maybe three and a half. We'll see. But three inches looks okay. You know what? Let's make it uh, let's make it four inches for now. And now I'm just going to extrude this into a shape. And I'm going to go down with this, and I'm going to make this a good inch and a quarter. I think that sounds about good. Maybe we'll go inch and a half. We can always make a make a change to this later if we want. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Like that, we have the beginning of our base plate. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the attributes. I'm going to change the color of it because I just don't like gray. Uh, maybe we'll make it that blue and maybe we'll make it nice and transparent so that we can see everything easily as we're working on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit save really fast and then we're going to continue working with this first position. Now in the first position I'm going to cut a little pocket. Okay. So to cut a pocket, I want to do it from where the material is. So I'm going to choose that face there, create a sketch on it. I'm going to go to my copy edge command or project command. I'll be on profiles or loops. I'll select that profile. Perfect. Now I'm the type of guy that I like to relieve out corners a little bit. So I'm going to go add some circles and maybe we'll do a nice little quarter inch circle, eh, maybe a little bit bigger so we can get in there with a, a decent sized tool. Let's go three eighths. Perfect. I'm going to put those in the four corners. And now we'll trim up everything. I'm going to be on profile trimming and I'm going to be on delete. So I want to delete that and that, that and that, that and that, that and that. Finally, I'm going to add some fillets. So let's go to the fillet command. I'm going to use global fillet just because it's a bit faster. We'll say an eighth inch and let's put them everywhere. Nice. Now we're done with our profile. I'm going to go ahead and cut a pocket. Now when I cut my pocket, I'm going to flip this back over and you can see it's cutting out, but maybe I'm going to change the starting plane or something else in the future. So what I want to do is I'm going to set my limit to be through. So it's just always going to be through in that direction. And like that, my first pocket is complete. And now I'm going to move on and do the same thing or a similar thing over here in this position. Now what we could do is we could repeat this pocket over to here. Why not? Let's give that a shot. So under my shape tab here, I have a repetition command and I can choose to repeat this product here. I'm going to do this with a simple linear pattern. And what I'm going to do is do distance between two points. And I'm going to say just snap from here to here because those are common objects. I'm going to say it's total distance and I want a total of two. We'll click OK. And like that, now we have that pocket done. But we're going to do a little bit more here as well. We're going to do a drilling in here because, or pardon me, we're going to go do a drilling back here for the drilling that's going to happen on this operation. Then we're going to come back over to here and we're going to relieve out here because again, remember, we're going to be machining the sides of this part as far as we can. Okay. So let's start with the drillings over here just for fun. I'm going to select my face right there and I'm going to build a sketch. 
You'll see me use this drilling by sketch a lot because it's just convenient. I can snap to the centers of the existing holes. I can come in here and say I'd like to create a drilling group. I don't want the same size drilling as before. I'm going to go bigger. So here I'm going to say let's go with a three-quarter inch hole. Just something that the drill and the chips can fall into nicely. It'll be a nice through hole like that. We're done with that. Next, I'm going to come over to here, create another sketch, and we're going to make some room for the tool that's going to go around this part. It's going to be nice and easy. Again, I'm going to build a nice, simple little rectangle, and I'm going to do it from out here to in here. And you know what? I'm going to use some different dimensions again, so I'm going to turn off that automatic dimension. Click like that. I'm going to come here and say, you know what? From here to here, let's just make that one inch. That's fine. Gives the tool lots of room. We'll do the same thing over here. I want this to be the same one inch, but I'm too lazy to type it in, so check this out. I'm just going to click on that value, and it borrows it. Kind of cool. Top Solid does truly try to make everything as simple as possible. We want you to be able to reuse information wherever it makes sense to reuse information. And again here, let's go with a nice little, I don't know, 437 radius in these back corners there and there. Oops, those are under constrained. Why? Because I made a mistake. I'm going to undo that with Control Z really quick. I had turned off automatic dimension. Perfect. And now we'll go ahead and cut a pocket. Now, when I cut this pocket, I'm going to cut this pocket down. You'll notice it's throwing a fillet out on the outside like that. That's nice. Gets rid of sharp corners. That's cool. And as far as the depth is concerned, I'm going to set my depth to be up to a plane. And it's going to be that bottom face here. And you'll see I'm using something that we call in top solid rotative selection. That's holding my left button down, tapping my right until I get to the face I want. And I want to do it with an offset going down another sixteenth of an inch. Perfect. Now we have everything that I need there. Next, we're going to go over to here. And we're going to continue down this process. So I'm going to cut a pocket. I'm going to build a boss. We're going to have lots and lots of fun. So let's start with maybe a boss. I'm going to go here and make a quick sketch. And you know what? Maybe my boss just needs to be the size of this shape down here. So why not borrow that geometry? I'll again go to project. And I'm going to choose that profile. That's perfect. We'll click OK. And we're going to go ahead and add this as a boss. And that boss is going to terminate, again, up to this plane right here. And again, you can type the values in, but by being a little bit more intelligent with our selections and relating objects like this, again, if a design change happens, it pushes through automatically everywhere. Next, we need to cut a pocket. So let's go cut a pocket. I'm going to go ahead, select this back face here. We'll create a sketch right there. And now here we got to be a little bit more creative with our pocket because we have to cut our relief out this way. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to start by making my little rectangle as usual. And then from there, we will go ahead and add our reliefs. So I'm going to make my little rectangle. Oops, I forgot to turn off the auto dimension. That's okay. I'm going to bring this right up to that edge. I'm going to bring this right up to that edge. And you should be noticing, by the way, the just the super dynamic nature of Top Solid, how easy it is to use simple drag and drop to add these types of relationships. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and add, again, that relief there and that relief there. Let's have a look at our sketch really quick. Is that looking right? Yeah, that's looking good. We're going to cut that out of there. So now we need to do it on the side as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this out here, and I'm going to throw this out there, like so. And I want this to be tangent. Oops, there we go. Let's make this tangent to that. This one will be tangent as well, but it's already got the alignment constraint. Maybe let's get rid of that, and let's have it just follow the tangency. It'd be better, like so. And now we want this maybe over here, and maybe we want this over here. Okay, and you know what, maybe this 250 would be better. I want this to always follow this, so I'm just going to right click, make them equal to each other. And again, all I'm showing you is the kind of freedoms you have in the software today. So now I can trim stuff up. I'm going to go to uh, profile trimming, delete. Of course, I want to delete there and there, here and here. I'm going to get rid of this and this. And then I'm going to go to segment, see if I can get rid of that and that. Now we're good. 
and let's go ahead and add our fillets everywhere. We're going to again add those eighth inch fillets everywhere it makes sense. Perfect. Done. Let's cut a pocket. So I'm going to flip this over so I can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to go ahead and cut a pocket straight up and through. So we'll go ahead and set that to through, and we're good. Not bad. So we have one more to do, which is this side over here should be pretty straightforward. Again, I'll bet you we can repeat what we just did over to here. So let's go ahead and use repetition. I'm going to choose that feature and that feature. And now I'm even going to use the same repetition as this. Do you notice I just moused over this repetition to borrow its pattern? That's pretty cool. Again, that's a great sample of top solid doing right by everyone. And now we're done. I'm going to exit out of my in-place edit. We'll hit save and we'll take a look at the next steps in the next video.